Uh, thank you, Deputy Chair. Uh, this evening I rise on adjournment to celebrate. Uh, I uh, am a proud member of the Launceston community and this evening I rise to speak about the 20th anniversary, which is occurring next week, of the opening of the Queen Victoria Museum and Art Gallery at the Launceston Rail Workshops, which took place uh, 20 years ago on the 23rd of November 2001. Uh, my fellow member for Bath, Ms O'Byrne, who unfortunately is in the chamber this evening but is in here with us, uh, attended with me on that day and it was a really special moment for the Launceston community. At the time, Mr Speaker, I was a relatively new... or Mr Deputy Speaker, I was a relatively new alderman at the Launceston City Council and very much aware and want to place on the record uh, the incredible amount of work and passion that the late Launceston Mayor John Lees had for this project, along with the director of the Queen Victoria Museum and Art Gallery at the time, Director Chris Tassel. They were so dedicated to the project of bringing to life what is an exceptionally iconic, unique and important part of Launceston's history. History. So many people at the City of Launceston, employees worked hard to make this possible, when in a word, it was really visionary. To see an abandoned site, and um, it may be of interest to you that this abandoned site actually uh, included all this incredible tooling and included copper pipework, like metres and metres and metres of um, incredible assets that had been abandoned for years uh, and was brought back to life and is now both nationally and internationally significant. The workshops themselves, extraordinary. So that vision... Mr Deputy Speaker, uh, included the ongoing development of the area as a place of learning, a place of culture and a place of recreation. Thousands of apprentices were taught there a trade in the workshops and that's now grown to also include TAFE, University of Tasmania and most recently uh, the fabulous Big Picture School. This has been a commitment that was driven by federal and state and local governments uh, across that time and it's evolved into a place where we celebrate, where we come together and where we continue our deep learning, not only of our own city and of our history, uh, but of the role that this centre played in the history of Tasmania and Australia. I've always admired that it was the outcome of efforts of governments of all different political persuasions, both at the state and federal level, and it has ensured the wonderful Launceston Railway workshops remain a point of pride for the Launceston community. So I want to uh, rise tonight to thank the staff of the Queen Victoria Museum and Art Gallery, the employees of the Launceston City Council and the broader Launceston community that have worked over the past 20 years to ensure that these buildings remain preserved, that the collections remain cared for, uh, and the Launceston community can engage with and understand our past. The railway workshops are uh, a representation of Launceston at its best. It represents innovation, creativity and resilience. Mr Deputy Speaker, I also rise this evening talking about Launceston uh, and its creativity, its innovation uh, and its persistence. I rise to celebrate that today it has been declared that the City of Launceston now holds the declaration of a UNESCO creative city of gastronomy. This has been a project that many in our community have worked for uh, over a number of years. It has seen persistence, determination, it's seen passion, uh, it's seen hard work and many, many hours uh, of pledging and pitching and bringing together our community and including joy, uh, joy that will be celebrated tomorrow night by many of the participants that have come together to secure this designation. Uh, there are a few cities around the world that enjoy UNESCO designations, and I understand now this will be the third in Tasmania, and it's, it's rare for a state of our size with our population to have such significant designations. Often the word gastronomy uh, brings to mind ideas of excellence or eliteness or top-class restaurants, Michelin star restaurants. But for the city of Launceston, for our community, the work that we've done to underpin and bring about this designation is about food security, it's about food access, it's about ensuring that young people and families in our community understand what it can take to... Uh, come together and connect around food, to develop and grow around food, to participate in the process of planting and harvesting and cooking food. And then it also uh, celebrates and seeks to 
raise an understanding and education in what can be then done if you want to have a career in food, whether that be a career in hospitality and service, whether it be a career in tourism, whether it be a career as a chef. Uh, it underpins and supports the great work of Ferment Tasmania and what they are going to do, which along with this designation will be game-changing for not only Launceston and the Tamer Valley, but for the entire northern region and, in fact, across the state. We will connect with other cities across the world that also have this designation. It will bring people's focus from across the world to what we do that's really special in Launceston and Tasmania, but equally it will share across the world some of the things that we do that are unique about value adding to our produce, um, supporting and understanding the great producers and farmers and people that we have that grow and provide uh, our great natural assets that we can celebrate and put on a plate and share and inspire people, not only locally but across the world. So today is a great day of celebration, one, to recognise the 20th anniversary of the bringing to life of the railway workshops in Launceston at the Museum and Art Gallery, and two, to say to everybody that works so hard and put in so much effort, volunteers for many hours across many many years that came together that built a program that with this designation will mean that all of the great things that happen in Launceston and Northern Tasmania will be celebrated from here for years to come, here and across the world. Thank you. Yeah.